Hey, this is Miles with Selleramp, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best way to analyze winning products to sell on Amazon Online Arbitrage. We're going to be talking about how to analyze them quick so you can ultimately find more profitable products and make more money in your Amazon business. Let's get after it. We're going to analyze a bunch of different products here and break down the different metrics to show you guys how you can best go ahead and utilize Selleramp to make the best product sourcing decisions possible to make the most profit as possible. So this first product we can take a look at right here, these Nike women's uh, Banasi slides. Um, immediately, my eyes go to the BSR right here over on the Chrome extension. A lot of you guys don't know, you can actually go ahead and move this around as, uh, as well. So you can move it around on the screen as, uh, as you like. Right here, you can also drag it out oh, right there. Yeah, didn't know that, now you do. Um, right there. So um, immediately, I want to qualify the velocity on this. And we can see that something like this has a 14K BSR. So it moves pretty quick, right? Now, what we want to do is we can see and look down here at the offers. We can see there's five FBA sellers and five FBM sellers. And we can see that just about like five of them are within about 10% of the buy box here, or 10% of the lowest. Yeah, there's actually not a buy box in this problem. This product. This is important as well. We can see so there's about five competitive sellers right here. And now what we want to go ahead and do is we can see, obviously, we know it sells, but we know there's, you know, just a couple of sellers that are competitive right here. We want to go and take a look at the Keepa chart, which is going to actually show us down here. What I'm looking at with the Keepa chart is basically the top chart is the price action and the velocity. So the price action is the pink and orange numbers, the pink being the buy box price. Um, which in this case, there isn't a buy box currently. And the orange being the FBA, which is the lowest FBA price right here. So we can see on April 16th that the buy box price was about 30, while the lowest FBA was up at 35. So that means someone um, it, with FBM must have had the buy box right there. And also, we can go ahead and take a look down here at the offer count and see how the competition changed over time. So for this specific product, we can see back in February, it had 22 sellers, right? And in um, mid-March, it had about 27, 28 sellers. And we can see that the price had gone down a little bit right there. It had mostly stayed the same. It was right around like 28, 29. And it's pretty much the same, even the, co the competition had gone up a little bit. We can see since then on March 31st, it had 21 sellers. And now there's only not, uh, 10 sellers and there were nine just a few days ago. Um, right there, and we can see the price has subsequently gone up right here. So in just like a minute or two, basically, we could see that this is a product that has some positive momentum behind it and that it clearly sells, right? And people are struggling to replenish it. And we can see that the price has gone up and the competition's gone down a lot. So this is probably going to be the type of Kiva chart that looks very good and ultimately the type of um, product that looks very good because we can see the overall listing, right? So that's not this specific variation. The overall listing has a BSR of 14K. And we can see that clearly the competition's gone down a lot. So this specific one sells. And because people are struggling to replenish this, it, it probably has a chance to be a good product long term. We can see over the year, we can see similar stuff happened back in November. Then in December, the competition went way down, price went way up. And we can see there wasn't really anyone carrying it back um, last summer as well. So pretty interesting product right here, but definitely when you see stuff going up in price, probably the type of thing you want to look for extra right there. Okay, next item right here. So uh, uh, just immediately right off the bat, um, this is a soccer cleat, and we know that soccer season is coming up in a couple months. There's naturally going to be some headwind on the sales rank, and the sales rank we're here is absolutely fantastic with the 6K BSR here. Don't worry about the IP suspected um, on DS. Um, there's not going to be any like big drop offs in the keep chart. Um, competition wise, we can see this is great velocity right here. We can see there are only seven sellers. Let's see how many of them are competitive right here. We can see um, there's one seller that's for some reason way lower than everyone else. Um, right here, we'll take a look at the keep chart on there. But we can see that in general, right around 40, 45, there are um, a couple competitive sellers and Amazon is on this, right? I'm personally not a huge fan of competing with Amazon, although some people definitely do. What we have to do is identify on the Keepa chart if there's third-party sellers that are getting sales right here, which we can see on the offer count that the offer count has gone down from 12 all the way down to like seven and uh, six in the past um, like few weeks here. But up here on the price action on the Keepa chart, we can see the price has significantly gone down right here. It was the third party and Amazon were right around like 40, 44, 43. Now it's all the way down at about 23 right here. So there's a very, very small chance we'd be able to find this properly considering 
for about a year, people were selling it right around like 40 and Amazon was selling it, third party sellers were selling it and the competition of the third party sellers had gone down. So clearly sold up there, people were making money on it. The problem is now the price is significantly down. So you typically want to avoid stuff that's going down a lot recently in price. The nice thing is we can see that really quick from the Kiba chart. And um, in general, it would be very hard to find this profitably too. Um, hey, we can go ahead and just Google this quick on here. We can see, yeah, so it's looking like they're retail right around here. So it's going to be pretty hard to get that uh, additionally lower on, um, on that. Okay, next item right here. Now, this is an interesting product because immediately, right, how we are typically gauging velocity, the sales rank is actually unknown in this case right here. However, we can see that there are about a thousand reviews lifetime on this product. So at least this list excels. I'm not sure if there's variations rare, but there's an unknown BSR, but unknown BSR listings can be a gold mine if you know what you're doing right here. So what we wanna do is we can see there are a bunch of sellers on this, right? There's a ton of FBM sellers. This is probably gonna be a good product to FBM if you were able to find this properly, right? We can go ahead here and scroll down and we can see down here on the competition across a year, we can see there really is a lot of activity on this Keepa chart. We can see that while the price has gone down, which is definitely not a green flag, there is a lot of movement on this for um, there actually being no sales rank. So I don't want you guys to sleep on no sales rank products as long as you can see movement in the Keepa chart. The Keepa chart and the seller amp stats, BSR, et cetera, are going to be the ultimate determinant of velocity. And if the numbers make sense, feel free to place a test order on something, even if it doesn't have a BSR here. So that's an important tip that... Um, a lot of you guys sleep on, I think. So definitely something to take advantage of and made good money um, flipping stuff with no sales rank. And um, there's a lot of opportunity, especially when you're like reverse sourcing. Like, this looks like probably a pretty good place to reverse source. A lot of people uh, making FBM money on this. Good place to find other products to FBM, so on and so forth right here. So um, last product we'll be taking a look at today is these slides right here. So immediately we can see 2K BSR um, looks good. Uh, listing as a whole has 14,800 reviews um, right here. Now that's uh, just the, that's not just the specific variation. It's the entire listing um, right here. But we can see overall, there's really good velocity on this. And we can see there's pretty low competition, five FBA sellers, two FBM sellers. So it's not moving crazy quick, or there's not a ton of people right around there. We can see um, in terms of within 10% of the buy box, there's only two sellers right here. Um, and there's a couple of people in like the 30 range on that. Now we want to take a look at the Kiba chart right here. We'd see that across a month right here, the price is pretty stable right around like 28, down to what, 25, 25 right there. So pretty stable. And across a year, across three months, we'd see that the price is really, really stable right here. Um, so in this case, and the competition is pretty stable too, and it's gone down. So this is an example of the type of product you would typically want to um, go ahead for because we can see competitions trended down and prices mostly stayed stable across a three month or so period. And we can see that um, on the three month, like it's right around like 25.4, went down a little bit to like 23, back up to like 28. And overall has stayed pretty consistent in that range to the point that we can probably reasonably assume that some people have just held their price and happily sold um, throughout. It's important to note that the buy box can be going to different people at different times. So some of these sellers, even if the price was down to like 22, they might've still been making sales at 25, 26 right there. It's completely reasonable um, to assume that. But either way, you definitely want to be looking for stable um, priced items and stable competition items because that's how you know people are nicely making money on it, right? Competition's gone down, prices stay the same. People are trying to replenish it. People are hopping on. Probably the kind of thing where clearly there's opportunity to go around with it basically on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this product analysis video. If you guys got any questions or any recommendations of other videos you guys want to see, definitely go ahead and let us know in the comments. Get a free trial of SellerAmp. We'll see you guys in the next one.